Hardhome sits on the tip of the peninsula, Starold Point, and is on a sheltered bay with a natural harbor that has deep enough water to support even the biggest ships in Westeros. The water is full of fish, and there are colonies of seals and sea cows. Located nearby is plenty of wood and stone, and above the settlement is a great cliff that is pocked with caves. Because of the location and resources, many, many years ago, Hardhome became a settlement for the wildlings, and over the years it would continue to grow as more free folk were attracted to the area. Over 600 years before the beginning of the books, exact time not known, an attempt to understand wildling culture was made by one Maester Willis, who was likely sent by the Citadel, who themselves wanted more information on the free folk. Maester Willis journeyed to Hardhome on a Pentoshi trader and wrote about his experiences, titling his work Hardhome, an account of three years spent beyond the wall among savages, raiders, and woods witches. To help in writing about the customs of the wildlings, Willis established himself as a healer and counselor at Hardhome so he could constantly interact with them and learn about their culture. While conducting his research, he was protected by Gorm the Wolf, one of four chiefs that shared control of Hardhome. But a few years later, Gorm was murdered in a drunken brawl, leaving the maester in mortal danger. Why exactly he was in mortal danger, or why he hadn't earned enough of a good reputation, being their healer and counselor, to be accepted without Gorm's presence, is a mystery. But it was too dangerous to stay, and the maester had no choice but to return to Old Town. Once safe in Old Town, he wrote down everything he had experienced at Hardhome, but a year after he was done writing, he vanished. He was last seen at the docks, looking for a ship that would take him to East Watch by the Sea. It is believed he was attempting to get back to Hardhome, however what truly happened to him is yet to be discovered. Roughly 600 years before modern Westeros, Hardhome was halfway towards becoming the only true town north of the Wall, and was brimming with activity. Then one night, it was as if hell had swallowed it. Overnight, the site became a place of death, and afterwards, it was considered forever cursed. There are many tales about what happened to Hardhome that night. Some say the people of Hardhome were carried off by slavers from across the narrow sea and forced into slavery. Others that the wildlings at Hardhome were slaughtered for meat by the cannibals from Skagos. Whatever version of the tale is true, it ended with their homes and halls being consumed by fire so great, watchers on the wall far to the south had thought the sun was rising in the north. Following that night of utter destruction, ash came down on the haunted forest and shivering sea for almost half a year. Any traders that dared to go to Hardhome reported seeing a nightmare level of devastation where the settlement had stood. All that was left were charred trees, burned bones, and waters full of swollen corpses. After this event, the only shelter left for those that dared to go to the destroyed place were the caves and the great cliff above the settlement. But even strange stories are told about these caves. One ship from the Night's Watch that was sent to investigate reports screams echoing down from the cliffs above Hardhome, where no living person could be found. Because the screams were described as blood-chilling shrieks, the caverns earned the nickname, the Screaming Caves. Modern Westeros, six centuries later, still shuns the town and believes it is haunted and cursed. The Night's Watch, including Benjen Stark, share this belief. Because Hardhome has been abandoned for so many centuries, Mother Nature has reclaimed it as her own, and the ruins of Hardhome are overgrown. Rangers of the Night's Watch state the ruins are haunted by ghouls, demons, and burning ghosts with an appetite for blood. Next, Hard Home in the Books. Warning, book spoilers, but nothing that would spoil future Game of Thrones episodes. In A Dance with Dragons, we learn over 6,000 wildlings that fled the battle where Mance Raider attempted to get south of the Wall, followed a woman named Mother Mole to Hard Home to pray and await salvation from across the sea. The wildlings believe Mother Mole was leading them to safety as she claimed to have had a vision of a fleet of ships arriving to carry the free folk to safety across the narrow sea. When the men of the Night's Watch learn of where the wildlings went, they are shocked, as it is well known it wasn't a great place to be. Jon Snow, believing the wildlings will die of cold and starvation, which will then give more bodies to the other's army, sends eleven ships to help them, much to the anger of some of his black brothers. Unfortunately, slavers get to Hardhome before Jon Snow's ships do. Arya learns that two pirate ships from Lys, Goodheart and Elephant, 
were driven north by a storm and dropped anchor off of Hardhome to make repairs. While they did so, they saw the wildlings. As there were thousands of them, they told the wildlings they didn't have room for all of them, and that they would take just the women and children. Starving, like Jon Snow said they would, they let their wives and daughters go. But as soon as the ships were out to sea, the slavers made them go below and roped them together. They meant to sell them in lists, but another storm came through and they were separated. The good heart was damaged and had to stop at Bravos, where selling slaves is forbidden. The elephant made it to lists with the wildlings from Hardhome. Thousands of more wildlings are still at Hardhome, waiting for rescue, and it is believed the slave ships want to go back for them. After that unfortunate event, the ships John sent to rescue the wildlings, led by Cotter Pike, finally arrive at Hardhome. After his arrival, Pike has a letter written and sent to John. It says, At Hardhome, with six ships, wild seas, blackbird lost with all hands, two Lysini ships driven aground on Skane, Talon taking water, very bad here, wildlings eating their own dead, dead things in the woods. Bravosi captains will only take women and children on their ships. Which woman calls us slavers? Attempt to take Stormcrow defeated. Six crew dead, many wildlings. Eight ravens left. Dead things in the water. Send help by land. Seas racked by storms. After receiving this disturbing letter, John seeks to lead a ranging to Hardhome, even though Melisandre sees a vision showing the wildlings at Hardhome are doomed. In this vision, she sees... Snowflakes swirling from a dark sky, and ashes rising to meet them. Gray and white whirling around each other as flaming arrows arced above a wooden wall, and dead things shambled silent through the cold. Beneath a gray cliff were fires burned inside a hundred caves. Then the wind rose, and the white mist came sweeping in, impossibly cold, and one by one the fires went out. Afterwards, only the skulls remained. She tells this to Jon Snow, informing him that she has seen in her fire that all the ships are lost, and not a single man shall return. Despite the warning, Jon still plans to send men to Hardhome. However, plans change, and Jon, meaning to go south of the Wall to deal with the Boltons, instead puts Tormund in charge of the mission to Hardhome. Before Jon can leave the Wall, for the watch happens, and he is stabbed repeatedly by his own men. It's to be seen whether Tormund will get to Hardhome. There's some interesting thoughts on what happened to Hardhome 600 years ago, and what happened to it during the books. In a follow-up video, I want to discuss Hardhome 600 years ago and why it may have been destroyed, patch faces seemingly prophetic words, and the future of Hardhome and a possible white army. Thank you for watching, thumbs up helps the channel, or hurts it if you think I'm just the worst person ever. New Game of Thrones, A Song of Ice and Fire videos weekly. Subscribe for more Ice and Fire content, and have a fabulous day and week. Afterwards, it was considered forever cursed. This place is cursed.